Hi, tonight I'm going to be doing a string pull and I'm going to be using three different types of string. I'm using cotton string and two different types of chain. Um, the color I'm using for the pool is an artist loft red um, and a hot pink, a hot pink, fluorescent pink flow acrylic. And the background I'm using artist loft white. And I made the mix pretty thin. I just poured it on there, so now I have to spread it around. You want to make sure you don't have a whole lot of white on your flow coat um, because it'll build up behind the string or the chain, <clears throat> and then your color will just disappear. And then this is a, a Bogle Chardonnay. Cheers. Anyway, so I'm going to try using this silicone brush. Um, just so I can maybe get a thinner coat. I've seen some people use it. Um, I was always worried that it wouldn't level out, but it seems to be okay. We're just experimenting here anyway, so um, I don't want to have a whole lot of paint on there, and this lets me be able to brush some of it off, hopefully. Okay. Get the sides. So instead of just a plain white background, I'm thinking that I want to maybe put a little gold in this also, this background. So let's see what I can do here. Maybe make a mess. Let's try it. <clears throat> Just a little subtle. Something a little different. Still feel like there's too much paint. Okay. All right, let's leave it at that. So the first one is this type of chain, ball chain. So let's dip it in this color. And with chains, you really need to make sure that it doesn't get hold too much paint because your paint will just flow out if there's too much. So I'm going to, I have a wet rag here and some napkins. I'm just going to, with my fingers, put it through my fingers a little bit. If you have too little, it won't show up. If you have too much, it's not good either. So let's try it. Dip it far enough, that's okay. Okay, let it sit just for a minute. Let's see. All right, that's nice. I like the edges with this type of chain. I rinse them off, of course, I don't reuse the string, but I reuse the chains. So the next one, I think I'll do the string next, put that one in the middle. So it's, this is a cotton string, it's what you would use for cooking, tying up roasts, different meats.
I'll just run the stick down it to get off the excess. this time. So the summer's been great so far. The last three weeks have been in the 80s. We haven't had any hundreds yet. I live in Northern California, a little town called Grass Valley up in the Sierra foothills, and it's been perfect. It's supposed to heat up though next week. that too. And one more. It's more like a, a, a regular chain. This one will probably hold more paint because the holes are bigger in the chain. So I'll have to use my fingers on this one. I didn't take off too much. But let's see. Okay, go this way. If you don't get it at the bottom, that's fine because when you pull it, all that's going to come down anyway. All right, um, there's no silicone in this. I am going to use my torch right now. See if there's anything that's gonna come up anyway. Yeah, actually I like how, they t how it turned out by using the silicone brush. It didn't seem to puddle. A lot of times when you're pulling the string, it'll grab the flow coat and it'll create like a dam and pull, pull a lot of the flow coat in with it. And it mixes with the paint and your string pull colors don't turn out as vibrant because um, it mixes with the flower color, the string pull color. But this one didn't. So if this dries level, then I think that's what I'm going to do from now on, as far as when I do a string pull. Let me bring you up. It's easier than bringing you down. And you can see how pretty. I think they're all pretty in their own way. Chain and the string. The background, you can barely see it, but it's, it's nice. It's different. Anyway. Just a little experiment. I think it turned out good. I like to try it with a black background and some white and pink other other colors. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Please like and subscribe.